Hi, my name is Erica Stewart. I'm a third generation rancher from North Saskatchewan. Welcome back to our video series, A Day in the Life of Pine Ranch. Uh, today we are getting ready to preg check the mature cow group. So, preg check pregnancy checking to see if they are pregnant so that they have a calf. I woke up late this morning. Our middle, middle daughter woke up crying, so I went into her room and fell asleep there. And then I opened my eyes this morning and realized it was way too late out for the time I needed to be awake. So I was pretty late, so Dad and Kyle left without me. And um, I just gathered this little field close here. So I got Brittany's real quick job today, and she has an ultrasound machine. And she's gonna see if there is a calf in that cow. So if she's bred. Okay, this is our vet, Brittany, and she is pre checking our cows today. We have an ultrasound, we have a transducer here, and then it sends an image to the goggles that I'm wearing on my head. So I can look up there and it'll display what I'm seeing. So when we pre check animals, we do it for rectum. So I'm going to put my arm up her bum and her uterus sits right in there and I can scan over it with this ultrasound and see that she has a little baby in there. So I'm also able to measure it and date the gestation so we know when approximately she's going to calve. She's good. We preg checked yesterday and it didn't go super great, um, but better than our heifers. So we're still a little bit noisy. We're on day four of weaning. And then I walked in here and kind of disturbed everybody. But these are all of our open cows. So we actually have 44 cows that were open, so did not get bred. And then we had another 18 that we didn't like and purposely didn't put a bull in it with them. Like we ran them with our grass heifers. So we know that they didn't get bred. We didn't like them like they had bad feet maybe or a bad udder or just bad genetics that we didn't want um, back in our herd. So yeah, it was another disappointing day, but we did, we would have had to sell some cows anyhow. Um, to have enough feed for the winter just with the drought. And also with our open rate for preg check, um, the majority of them are actually those cows that should have been having their second calf. And that is typically um, a hard age group to get rebred. So the reason for that is those animals are young, they're still growing, and they get in calf their first year, and then they have to still grow and produce milk to raise a calf. So they have a lot of demands on their energy requirement, so it is hard to get them in calf. And our vet said just with the, the drought conditions and the lack of good grass, that that group was affected pretty hard. So this cow is 333 and she was one of the ones we purposely didn't put with a bull. Um, she's got bad feet. So you can see that back um, hind hoof is really long. And so that's something that's genetic that we don't want to pass on to her calves and to keep in the herd. So that's why we're getting rid of her. This little straight red cow, that's an example. Um, of a second calver. So this past year she had her first calf and then we tried to get her back in calf this year and she is one of the ones that was open. Just those, en those energy requirements demands were too much for her and so she didn't have enough energy to put into herself and then to either make a good egg or to ovulate so she did not get bred. The other disappointing thing about our preg check was actually all three of our girls um, we give them cows when they're first born so they can start their own little herd. And for me, that's how I paid for university was my cow herd. So all of our girls have one and each of them lost a cow this year. So our youngest daughter, she had her first, she got her first cow last calving season and she only got one calf out of her and we had to sell her. So that's pretty disappointing for our girls. Yeah, that's 
Butter. Um, this is our the black one there is Butter, and that's our oldest daughter's cow, and she is open. Where's Susie Q? Where? So Susie Q is the white one. She's a shorthorn. She's our middle daughter's cow. And she's actually kind of has a special story. So my uncle, who is also a rancher, sold his ranch and all his cows a couple years ago. And we bought one of his shorthorn cows for our daughter. It was kind of fun because she's obviously very different from, she's a different breed from the rest of our cows. So um, our girls could pick her out really easily. But unfortunately, she is open this year as well. Which cow is this? So this one is our youngest daughter's heifer. So she would have just had her first calf this year and she is open. This cow is 112 and she's another one that we did not put with the bulls. So purposely did not want her to get bred. Because when she calves, she's quite mean. And just trying to get rid of that with our girls being young and wanting to come out and help. So temperament is another thing potentially that we call for. This is 157. She is one of my favorite cows. She's actually out of one of my cows that I got when I was very young. And she's not that old, so we're quite upset that she is open this year. This cow is Y9E, and she is out of a cow we really like, we call Bob. Uh, Bob was featured in one of my calving videos. We were just talking about how much we like her. So we're quite upset that she is open this year. This is 202. She's another cow that's open this year that we're quite upset about. She's We really like her. And she's actually out of a cow that I had since I was really little. And there's the line we're leaving with our protocol cows.